And former Israeli ambassador to the US, Michael Oren, joins us live now. Ambassador, good evening. Look, firstly, uh, you know, I want to get your take on what we heard earlier from Zelensky and that address to Israeli, Israeli rather, lawmakers. Well, uh, it's certainly uh, understandable to understand uh, President Zelensky's despair, his pain, uh, the anguish of the Ukrainian people. Uh, if his purpose was to win the uh, hearts and minds of the Israeli people, the, the speech backfired. It was a boomerang. Yeah. Um, it, 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 you know, the constant mentions of, of the Holocaust, the comparison uh, of the Ukrainian situation with the Holocaust, uh, the whitewashing of the Ukrainian role in the Holocaust, uh, mentioning of the Iron Dome system, which would be particularly ineffective to, for Russian cruise missiles, um, uh, and, and, and a lack of appreciation for uh, the very risky uh, path that Prime Minister Bennett has taken by trying to mediate. He actually, uh, in contrast to some of the, um, the press spinnings of the Prime Minister's office, that there's been a deep appreciation uh, for the prime minister's mediation role on the part of the Ukrainians. That was not evident here at all. Uh, and so the reactions uh, from many lawmakers in parliament in Knesset have been uh, negative, and I'm sure the impact will be very similar in the Israeli public. Mm, so, you know, in your opinion, Ambassador Oren, you know, why is it that Israel has so far held off from providing military assistance, you know, in the form of weapons and also really not imposed any sanctions on Russia? Well, I know the reason. I don't necessarily agree with the agreement. I think Israel should have, uh, you know, irrespective of uh, President Zelensky's speech, we should have sided with the West and with the United States uh, against uh, against tyranny, against aggression. Uh, we are the only Western-style democracy. They will still, still be shaking the hand of Vladimir Putin, who has now been designated by the United States as a war criminal. And that's there's going to be a high price to pay for that. Um, I've just come from a meeting with uh, government officials from the United States, and there's a tremendous amount of criticism of our neutral position, including among our, some of our best friends uh, in, in Congress. So it, it, there's a price to be paid for this. I understand why Israel has done it. Uh, the fear of uh, antagonizing Russian forces in Syria, where the Israeli military has to operate against Iran's attempt to transform Syria into a forward base. Uh, I think that those fears are exaggerated, but that is the that is the uh, position of the Israeli government. Uh, fear uh, for the fate of 200,000 Jews in the Ukraine, 800,000 uh, in Russia, and as the Jewish state, Israel has that responsibility. Um, and so uh, there are reasons. Um, I don't agree with the reasons. Uh, clearly, mm. President Zelensky doesn't agree with the reason. It would those those reasons. Um, I just think it would behoove Israel both morally, strategically, uh, to side with the United States with the rest. And I think yeah. we keep our eye on the ball. And the big ball from Israel is, is not the Ukraine. It's the Iran nuclear deal. And, uh, and what position, what policy will put us in a better position to combat that deal once it's signed? Yeah, and just fairly briefly, Ambassador, you know, can we expect this stance to change? You know, what could make it change, if anything? Well, it's already changed. I've had this position for about three weeks, and I've seen Israel move from a position of absolute neutrality to something that is close, more closely resembles the position of the West. Uh, Israel, I think, will eventually begin to uh, supply you know, non-offensive military equipment like uh, ceramic vests and, and helmets. Um, and I think that Israel will sign on to at least some of the sanctions. And I think it will be well advised as we do that. What 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 is the what is the what is the the driving force behind these changes? Is the mounting civilian casualties on the Ukrainian side? Yeah. And and no country, uh, certainly not a democratic and Jewish country, can sit passively while another democracy uh, is fighting for its freedom, often with Molotov cocktails and small arms, and a country which is led by a, a very proud Jew. Um, I often feel that uh, President Zelensky, on other occasions, holds up a mirror to our country, to Israel. What we see in that country, yes. in that mirror, isn't necessarily a pretty, pretty picture. It's a picture of a country that is uh, very self-interested and, and afraid, afraid yes. of the Russians. Um, it's not necessarily the image we want to project to the world.